stop complaining. This is a command by Yah for us to obey, to gain his promises. This edifying of God's children to receive this knowledge is so powerful. Many examples have been given throughout the Bible demonstrating the power we have to not allowing any legal authority from the serpent to harm us when we do not complain about our circumstances, but rather are grateful for what God has done. Sometimes the storm is so hard that all we see is, 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 um, Sometimes the storm is so hard that all we have is God. And that is more than enough. It's within our power to choose God's way. Or we can side with complaining and opening permission for God to allow the devil to harm us. Due to being ungrateful and complaining, Jesus did not complain. He did tell God how uncomfortable he was, and he did not keep it inside. Rather, he expressed himself in a respectful way to God, and he asked permission for it to be taken away from him. This is key to understanding God's authority. We are at his will, and he will see that his will gets fulfilled in us. But he cannot use us if we complain about the plans he has for us. He wants us to tell him how we feel so he can comfort us through his plans. When we, we stop trusting in God, in, in God's plans and find fault with his ways, we start to complain with, to him rather than trusting in his plans and allowing him to comfort us and guide us through it. God gives us a way through with him and without harming us. When we seek his plans for our lives, he has created every single one of us for a purpose. To, har to not harm us, but give us a hope and a future. The story of Job provides us us with wisdom to not take advice from earthly people, friends and pastors and family, but seek God. Look up, child, to the Father who gives and takes away for the glory of the kingdom. Job trusted God and did not complain. He expressed himself in complete trust of God, seeking after his guidance in what was happening to him. But he never lost faith in God. And then another example that was used is Paul. As he was not a complainer, but he was an encourager in Christ. He had a lot to complain about too. As the devil was relentless in keeping Paul in a storm throughout most of his life. After he saw the light, to say, as some, as some would say, we also have endure, endured storms for a very long time. We should look back at what Brother Paul in Christ endured and how he made it through with encouragement. For example, he did not complain on the boat during the storm, but rather he sought counsel from God to comfort him while encouraging the others on the boat. And when the viper bit him while he was gathering wood, he shook it off because he knew he was bitten illegally and no harm would come from him would come by the snake. All by faith in God, as he understood God's commandments and followed them as not to complain when he was suffering, but he knew that opening, that, that he knew, because he knew that opening, but that he knew by complaining opened 
the authority to the devil to send out traps to hurt him, like the viper in the woodpile. So let's all stop complaining and be grateful for what we do have. And if you are able to live another day, then be grateful God gave us another day. Be thankful for his ways are so good. Shalom.